welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. This is Monday morning, and we all hate those Mondays where it's all back to work and got to get back in that routine for the week. But one little thing that you can do is stick with me for a Sea of Thieves Rush. Now, Sea of Thieves Rush, as I explain every time, it's boots in the sand on another island from where you spawn in, and then you got to hand in whatever you can for reputation, gold, etc. Uh, sounds easy, but PvE, you can run into all kinds of uh, things that can stymie you. So we shall see how we do. Okay, here we are. So let's uh, let's get to the ship. Run as fast as we can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Actually, not made of gingerbread, but feeling kind of spicy today. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, off to the ship. We are in the darker side of the map. So a little bit gloomy, a little bit stormy. It's kind of fitting for a Monday sometimes. And there I go in the water under the ship. I meant to do that. I haven't had my shower this morning. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's up this. This gets us ready to go, and then I don't even look at the clouds too much if I can help it, unless the skull is in front of me somewhere. I don't see it now. I'm on the move. Check the wind, but I want to see where I want to go. There is an island in front. Sometimes it's just let's go for the one in front. And Monday, it just seems like. You know, let's let's go as the crow flies. We're not gonna we're not gonna deviate from a course and try and spice things up too much today. It's just to get it done. I'm having real issues with my green screen. It's really bugging me, and hopefully it's not bugging you right now. But uh, that's why I've had a frame with a background in it for for my streams for a while. And uh, sometimes I'm not even on the stream. Just because I can't get my chroma key sorted out and I can't get my lighting in my room sorted out. I've got the light on, I've got the window open, everything should be good. But uh, I just cannot get the the green screen the way I want it, so it's really bugging me. Anyway, technical difficulties aside, let's get to the island. Always on a rush, you've got a time limit. You can see it there, 27.12 on the clock. I gotta get boots in the sand on some land mass other than where I spawned in. So I don't include rocks as as a land mass. You know, just a rock out of the middle of nowhere. So you could cheat and see a, a shipwreck right by a rock and decide to go to the rock, stand on the rock, and then think, you know, you're good to go. But that's that's not how I play it. Um I try and put the description rules or the, the guidelines, I shouldn't say rules, because you can do whatever you like in Sea of Thieves. Um, but the guidelines that I play to uh, for Sea of Thieves Rush, I, I put in the comments when I publish on YouTube. And I'm streaming this to Mixer today, so I'm, I'm starting to like Mixer again. After a few disconnect problems with streams where it would just show a... A disconnected graphic for like five minutes during the middle of a stream. <laughs> I've decided again that things are working well with Mixer. They've uh, they've upped their game and seem to have fixed that that issue that I was having. Whether that was my issue or not, I don't know. But things seem to work better. So this is the No Name Island, or one of them. Um, so sometimes it can be hard to find stuff to hand in on this island, but. Not always. Sometimes it can be loaded with things. So let's... Uh, oh look, red gem. Or something red. Something red. What is it? A brimstone casket. Let's put it there. And go once around the island. Which can be a little time consuming. But we got 25 minutes on the clock. So I can do it. And to save time, we uh, fail at sword <laughs> lunges. No! I can't believe I did that. Swimming is, is the most time-consuming thing you can do in a rush. It just slows you down. It's like pulling yourself through molasses. Um, when you're on a time limit, you're really aware of what's fast and what's slow. And... Making bad choices and I 
That's better. I redeemed myself. That was a bit of a flipper rush. A flipper thrust. They call me Flipper, Flipper. Ever seen that show? Some of you are probably way too young to know what the heck I'm talking about. Flipper was a show starring a dolphin called Flipper. Funnily enough. Look at that. So I got two things to hand in. A mysterious vessel. Don't see this one much. Usually see the adorned one, but I don't see this one much. No skellies, which is nice. Maybe I spoke too soon. Stowing things properly can be time consuming too, so I try and avoid those corners on the ship. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah! It just encourages you to be a better pirate when you play the game with your friends and stuff because you're aware of what you can do that's faster than slower. It just allows you... It, uh, what I wanted to do initially is just prove that you can play in a few minutes. Like You can have 20-30 minutes and still have a good game of Sea of Thieves and felt like you've, you've, you know, you've accomplished something in the game. Now, oh, that's way too far away. I'm not going to go get that. Um, but what do we have here? We have Hidden Spring Keep, Rum Runner Isle, Cannon Cove, North Star Sea Post, Golden Sands. I'm going to go that way. Let's head west today and see if, uh, if we can make it and hand this stuff in. See, it's all part of the rush is challenging yourself. And if you think you can do it in the time permitted, <coughs> try and do it. That's That's the whole thing. It's a great uh, little thing to add to any solo game that you're playing. Um, I've seen people do Rush, take on the, the idea and do it <coughs> multiplayer, which is great. You know, you can do that too. But as, as a single slooper in the morning, I don't have anyone that, that would play with me. And I don't like open crew because you get those Goombas that come on your ship that just want to blow you up or fire themselves out of the cannon or... <coughs> really are not uh, interested in playing a good version of the game. <coughs> so that's the arena rock there. Had somebody on Twitter this morning, they were saying, I got struck by lightning and it was blue skies. And I said, you were probably near the arena arched rock. Because when somebody spawns into your server, it's my understanding that there is a lightning strike. Um, that can hit the water and hit ship if you're nearby. So I said, that's probably what happened, is somebody was spawning into your server, just joined the server somewhere on the map, and uh, and you got a little um, present for that, a little gift. I'm heading west, and I can't see Rum Runner because the sun's in my eyes. Sun sets in the west. Let's have a look. Rum Runner is directly west, so let's turn the wheel a little bit. Lucky these maps are mostly accurate. Just imagine if back in the day some of the maps weren't accurate and they were sailing around trying to find these islets that weren't where they said they were. How frustrating that would be in this game. Like you have an approximate location of an island. So there is a sea post over there. So if I find a gem, I can go to the sea post and consider that one rush complete, and then I could get the set the, these other things in, and that would be two rushes complete in 30 minutes, which you know is is a good achievement. That's something to to be proud of. Okay, I just saw the islands rendering. I used to have a rendering problem, and some people still have reported it. Um, I had less memory, a, a lesser rig, and I'd play with my friends, and we'd come into an island like this, and it wouldn't, oh crud, it wouldn't render in quick enough. Um, and I'd come to the island, I wouldn't even be able to set foot on the land, it would just be a big blurry blob. Um, but uh, since I, I loaded my PC up with way more memory, the rendering issue seems to be better. Take your legs out from under you. 
wonder if I can sword lunge and not set it off. Uh, okay. You're a Goomba. My, uh, twice in a row, my son's playing Super Mario Maker uh, at the moment, and he's been talking about Goombas this morning, so... Skellies are just a time consumer too. Oh dang. That's no good to me. Um, I was hoping to find a gem and then I could do a double rush. But I'm not seeing one. I see pig. I could kill a pig and go hand him in to hunters and that would that would be considered a rush, but I'd have to put it on to cook and Right, piggy pig. So, one shot to the face and a cutlass should be enough. Yeah. Okay, pork chop. I'm gonna find the quickest way to the ship. Swimming. It's quicker to stay on land as much as possible than it is to. Uh, to swim so that's why I ran along the beach just that little bit longer there's the sea post and I downed anchor so I don't even turn off the lights you know if PvP comes my way I'll deal with it but uh, I don't even turn off the lights anymore I used to and I'm like I'm good enough for the most part to deal with inbounds so I'd say I'd have a 60-40 ratio of surviving on a on a PvP, so you know the odds are in my favour. There's somebody over there. I've noticed that. Oh no, that's the outpost. Maybe somebody is still there. Nice thing about sailing at night is you can see the outpost really easy on the horizon. Plus you can see these guys too. So Big Sheep, one of the programmers at Rare, did exactly what I did, or I've been saying, and I, I was saying that they should have like a thing at the top that goes up into the swirling clouds, so it looks like the Ghostbusters souls going up into the sky. And uh, he posted a little giffy um, a, a picture of the movie where it actually is happening, and he says, when I see one of these, it reminds me of one of these. And I'm like, yeah, I know. should add swirling clouds around the top it would look good I never put my pork on to cook see this is this is what the rush is supposed to do for you it's supposed to make you a better pirate see I can cook while I'm repairing that's fine but that time sailing I could have cooked my pork and been here and just dropped it off but now I'm Having to wait. So, see, I'm not perfect at my my, my own game, my own uh, concept here. But you guys can take it and run with it. I find it weird. There's a double food barrel, but there's only one wood plank barrel, and they're not even like attached at the top. You think being on a ship rocking around like this they would fix them to the top of the ship so they wouldn't fall over but no okay even a little brown on the pork you can hand it in even if it's partially cooked but I'll, I'll wait I think of 15 minutes I can make it to the outpost and hand in my other two pieces so where's the outpost oh, stuck on things come on made it here take this okay let's get on the way all about speed 
And it wakes you up in the morning. Like I'm doing it this time in the morning because I get that that little window of time right before work where I'm because I work from home, I'm not driving to work. So this is kind of my what would be my commute time, just being used to play Sea of Thieves Rush. So it's kind of a window of time that, in some ways, is a little bit disposable. Do I, is that actually a ship? I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Okay, well let's let's bring it. See what they do. If I go in on one side of the outpost, they may just take off. They may see me coming now and just not want the hassle. Or they might be the type that like wants to get into it. And we'll we'll see. I didn't take the exploding barrel, which would have been very useful. Skull fort still up. I can see your boogers. They may be skull fort types, they may take off and head head that away. I should go through my recent players list and just see who I've covered Kelter with. Hmm. In the past, like any community members, anyone that's active. You never really know, because you don't even have to go up to them and, and kind of say hi. Recent players, you can be as close as this and they'll show up in your recent players list. I'm going to come in on the other end of the island and try and run my stuff to the gold hoarder and see if they're Types are up for conflict. They're not taking off. They could have just spawned in. I, th I find with like the older Xbox, um, Xbox One, not the One X or One S or whatever they are now, but the older one, it takes so long to load in that the ship appears and it sits there at the outpost for the longest time before anyone actually appears on the island with it so you can have a good five minutes where the ship's just sitting there and no one's around so you can get there jump on it and start to sail it away and I've done that a few times <laughs> you know you just hijack someone's boat because they're not there and then if you sail it close enough around the island then the mermaid doesn't spawn so they have no way of getting a mermaid to the ship Okay, we've got barrels in the water, which is scaring me. No, I don't want to explode. Oh, no kaboom. Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be a kaboom. That's from a cartoon. Marvin the Martian. I'm coming in pretty fast. They might think I'm coming in to fight. So I'm just going to lower the anchor. Yep, they're taking off. They're leaving. They don't want the hassle. Yeah, bye-bye. They might leave somebody, though. So it might be a case of let's set the ship a sail and hang back and let them feel complacent and deliver their stuff and we'll take it from them. Or it could be a solo slooper who's interested in self-preservation. The Self Preservation Society. Yeah, they're gone. Don't see anyone. Not getting attacked. Okay, rush number two in the bag with ten minutes left. Holy moly. Just pushing yourself to the limits and using your time wisely. And I like the island hopping in the game. There's so much stuff you can do just beachcombing. Not having to put down a quest and, you know. The beach quests are nice because sometimes, or the bottle quests, because sometimes you just show up to an island and there's something there to do because you've grabbed one of those quests. But 
you don't need to put stuff down. Although you do get the mileage. So sometimes just throwing something down, even if you're beachcombing, can be a good idea as long as you're not wasting one of those nice build rack quests. I don't think you get mileage for them anyway. Pretty sure you don't. Um. So rush number two completed. I got those items in. So I'm going to go out again and try and get to a local island from where I am and back in nine minutes. Push myself again. If you push back on a sword lunge, um, it'll stop you. It's like putting on the brakes. So if you hit S when you're part way out to your ship, um, you'll stop kind of flying out towards it and past the ladder and bouncing off the ship. Oh, come on, grab that handle. See, these are the amateur things that, that I do first thing in the morning because I'm I'm tired and I'm fumbly and I'm trying to talk to you guys too about stuff. There's an island. Let's check that one out. This will be a quick boots in the sand, find something and get back. This really can't be much more than that. If there's nothing right there on the beach, that could stymie my rush. Make sure this is another island and not an outpost. Uh, yeah, let's see. Where am I going? Where am I heading to? Oh, I can't see. It's off the map. I have time to go take a boo. Yeah, Laguna Whispers. Okay. They're still there. They didn't really take off. Are they coming back to PvP me? Or did they realize they just went the wrong way? In a panic. They may have just gone the wrong way in a panic. It looks like they might be heading for that shipwreck. They're wreckers. That's the squirrel that I would usually go to, but... Not today, Mrs. Wembley. As a, a British person, um, we are a nation of television watchers. Um, we even had a TV show uh, hosted by Noel Edmonds called Telly Addicts. And uh, you'd get the Hoofa Doofa, which was the remote control, which it started, everybody started to call their remote control the Hoofa Doofa. Um, and you'd pick a subject and answer questions about, you know, different TV shows and stuff. And uh, so you'll hear me quoting a lot of TV show kind of lines and things and then asking you guys to, to tell me what what it was from or if you can find out where I quoted it from, whether it's a movie, TV, etc. And uh, sometimes theme songs like uh, like this one. Oh, come with me to the rolling sea where the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun, everyone, as we go a sailing. And that is an adaptation of a children's show, which I have mentioned in another stream. So uh, if you've seen that stream, you'll you'll possibly remember the name of the song or the show. I'm going to crash again. There we go, that got it. See, that's actually a, a time can save it, save it there, because if I know I'm going to crash, put down the anchor, and then you're not spending time having to hammer wood, which can take longer. And actually, I should put my ship in a slight turn, and then hopefully when I get back, it's facing the outpost. So I see something over there. Snakes, and... Something that looks like a crate. Just check as I run. Oh, skellies. Don't waste my time. Oh, it's a fruit crate. Why do fruit crates have zero in them? When crates, planks have... Oh, I'm not wasting my bullets on you. Three strikes and you're out. He's up in sails. He's going... I didn't want to get in the boat. Another one. Ignore him. 
right now I'm not finding any oh there's something jeez should check the ocean first Got a sword lunged and got that. What is it? Don't be a flappy chest. Don't, oh, good. It's not a flappy chest. A flappy chest is no good to me because you can't hand it in. But I can hand in a crappy old seafarers. So I've got four minutes to get back to the outpost. Keep my ship intact. And I'll do a triple rush. That would be pretty cool. Sails are up. There's the outpost. So putting it in a turn like that worked out really well. Just using your time wisely, that's what it is. At which end of the... Uh okay, I've got to change my sail. I was just checking the wind there. So, again, using your time wisely. Making sure which end of the island is the quickest for getting this in. The one with all the buildings. Oh, come on, you donkey. It sees all over the place. And it hasn't rendered in properly, so it's hard to see. Uh, well, which end? It's not that end, I'm pretty sure. That's where the barrels were. Yeah, okay. i got to go the other end. So, three minutes. Can I do it? Do I waste time going around? Do I jump off and run? How do I get to the gold hoarder the fastest possible way? Do I actually try and make it into the... Do I come in here? I might just come in here. Come in fast to this. Fast as I can. Hopefully I don't hit. It's all about timing. Lower the anchor. Handbrake turn. Damn. Now i got to fix because I can't complete a rush with a leaky boat. That's one of my rules. The boat has to be intact. And I just filled it with a ton of holes. So, two minutes to fix. And get off this leaky tub. Did I break one at the back? Yeah, I did. Got to get the water out. Oh, not a lantern, you doofus. Come on. Get out of here. You can go. Get the chest. 1 minute 40. On the dock. Made the jump. Which way to the gold hoarder? Uh, which way? Go this way. This gets me to the bar. I could have gone the other way. It might have been faster. See, this is, your, this is the rush. It's making the right decisions for the right times getting there and getting it done see I've got I can't run fast with the chest it's a minute 40 I'm gonna do it the, ch the tents right there so triple rush complete on a Monday that's pretty good that puts me in a good mood for the rest of the day I'm pretty happy hopefully you're pretty happy too and uh, we like to finish our stream with a bit of a Tra la la boomsie, tra la la boomsie, tra la la boomsie, tra la la boomsie.